Hey, everybody. I'm John Granado. You can hear me mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. That's Josh Jordan. You can hear him on Sunday mornings talking about all the lines, giving you some winners, and you can see all his work at sportsmaphouston.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here on SportsMap HOU. Jake Odorizzi. Josh, his return seems imminent. After the no-hitter, after the way your Katie has bounced back, Garcia's been good. Fromber's an all-star. JV, certainly not taking those guys out of the rotation. What do you do here? Do you go back to a six-man rotation? We know JV likes to pitch every – he ain't going to do that. He wouldn't even wait another day to pitch here against Cole, which Cole didn't either, but he wouldn't even do that. So JV wants to pitch every five days. What do you do with this rotation now? I think it is that six man rotation thing, John. I know Verlander seems a little against doing it, but you know, one of the pitching coaches for the Astros, Josh Miller, he was talking with Chandler Rome and, you know, he said all that depth is a good thing. And what's interesting is they only have one off day between now and the all-star break. And then after the all-star break, they play 19 straight, 19 straight without a break. So if there's ever a nice little window, a nice chunk in the middle of the season to, to give everybody a little rest, yeah. And I think that's good for JV too, John. He, he is one of the leaders in innings pitched, and that's coming off Tommy John surgery. I think we need to protect him from himself a little bit and, and back these guys off a little. And we've seen him, and now it's multiple times, that he worn out in the, in the World Series. Yep. And he's been great, but he worn out in the World Series. His ERA in the World Series is not good. So maybe if he stays stronger. He doesn't want to do that. He loves to get his numbers. He's got his... He's got his routine that he loves to go through. Maybe it's a six-man rotation, but but Verlander's only five. Maybe everybody gets skipped and moves down the line. Verlander pitches every five days, and then you've got the six the, the other six guys that are that are moving in and out of there. I don't know if that's the best way to go about it because now you've got a, one less guy in the bullpen because you've got a limited number of, of, of pitchers now on your staff. That's a new rule that they've got. You can only have so many on your staff. So – I don't, I don't know that I would put – okay, let's say they're going to go five. Let's say they're going to stay with five. Is Javier out of this rotation? If it was up to me, hell no. But that seems to be the case. And, you know, I was listening to you talk with Lance earlier today. I think that's where this is headed, John, because he's the only guy they know that can do that. Yeah. You know, like Urquidy, who knows, but he's been a starter for so long. Oda rizzi has been vocal about he doesn't want to do that. But, you know, Lance made a good point this morning. They don't really use Javier as much in high leverage situations out of the yeah. bullpen. So it's, it's not like you get that full value out of what he can do. And I don't know if you remember a little bit before Odorizzi got hurt. Remember, like, after five innings, they were capping him off because if he pitched any longer, he really started getting blown up. And remember, they would bring in Javier to pitch like three innings after Odo's five, even if Odo had pitched a good five, they were automatically bringing him in. I wonder if we see something like that to where they want to keep Javier stretched out and they do that. Uh, again. Yeah, I, that's a bad, you mean, so, so Javier's got to pick up for Odo Rizzi every time he pitches. I mean, once every five days for three innings, that's a terrible way to use Javier, terrible way to use Javier. You know, it's a terrible thing if you're not getting refreshed, Josh. With cold, clean, crisp, refreshing Coors Light. That's a terrible thing as well. You don't be terrible. Drink Coors Light. Texas chill. It's a thousand degrees outside. What we need is to be refreshed and keep in Texas chill. That's what Coors Light does. Every time you see those blue cans, you know you're going to be chill, baby. So if you're looking for the world's most refreshing beer, I got it for you. Cold, clean, crisp, refreshing Coors Light. All right, here's another problem too, is that Jake Odorizzi, you know what? You might be better off in the bullpen because then you might make the postseason roster. You're not making the postseason roster again. There is zero chance that Jake Odorizzi is going to be one of the four starters. If you Right now, who does Dusty pick as his four starters in the postseason? I think he's going to pick Rikidi because of the experience. But I would go with Javier. I just – I should be the, the charter member of his fan club, John. I can't tell you how many sports videos I've been pushing for Christian Javier with you over the past year. I just, I love his upside, but I think, you know, Dusty, he's going to lean on experience. We've seen Urquidy, even in 2019, he pitched in the World Series, did a good job. I think he's going to lean on experience. I think Urquidy will be that. Well, it depends. Is McCullers back? That's the other thing we got to account here, okay. right? All right. So 
And, and oh, by the way, you got to kick another guy out of the rotation when Lance McCullers comes back. And who's that going to be? Okay. So it, this is, this is getting, you got, you have an abundance of wealth here. What's the, what, so then if you have too much of a good thing, what do you do? You got to get rid of a, a good thing. Jake Odorizzi on the trade block. And maybe Jake Odorizzi and a couple of young players can bring you back a center fielder that can actually hit, that you can count on, that you don't have to bat ninth in the order, that is going to knock in some runs at a big time. Because I don't know about you, but I've seen this team, and I love what they've done in New York, but I don't. it hasn't changed my opinion that they still need a center fielder. I'm a little higher on Jake Myers maybe than you are. I, I really like what I've seen from him and coming back and what he did in the playoffs last year before he got hurt. But, you know, back to the trading Odorizzi thing, I thought Lance on your morning show brought up a good point that you may not know where McCullers yeah. is in his rehab until after the trade deadline. So, you know, James Click might be a little hesitant to move Odorizzi if he doesn't know if McCullers is going to be back and fully healthy this year. Let's go, Lance. Pick up this pace. Because we got to know before the end of July whether or not you're going to be pitching for this baseball team. It, I think it really relies on it. And, and Jake Myers is nice. But listen, one thing I learned, yeah, they scored eight runs against the Mets. They scored nine runs against the Mets. That wasn't Scherzer. That wasn't DeGrom. They haven't faced those guys. Sure, they faced Carrasco. Carrasco is pretty good, and they beat him up. But they got to score more than six runs in Yankee Stadium. Because they, they ain't winning. They, they, they couldn't have pitched it. They could not have pitched any better. And they only won two of the four. So you know what you got to do sometimes? You, not only do you have to win 2 nothing games, you got to win 10-9 to nine games. And this team is not doing that. Not now. No. 